Okay, we are recording full length. All right. Uh, I did an earlier. I did a video earlier this morning, and oh, well, I thought the camera was uh, focusing. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, you know, I did an er a video earlier today, and I'm not happy with it because I mean, you guys, you're not going to respond to me yelling at you. You know, it's you don't understand that. Um, my perspective, I guess. Um, anyway, what I talked about and what I'm going to talk about is the fact that no one helps each other in this country anymore. Um, uh, first of all, I'm not complaining, bitching, whining, moaning, ranting, whatever about this because it's affecting me. Um, I'm not bitching because it's affecting me. I'm complaining because it's affecting everyone, including me, um, and will affect you you, yes you, in the future. Um, you know, we're a society, we're supposed to take care of each other and help each other out. As I've said in the, in the answers video, capitalism is the problem, is it drives us to be competitive, it drives us to compete with each other and be cutthroat. It tears families apart. I mean, families. People in their own family don't help each other. And the only reason people do help each other is if they're financially be mutually beneficial. You know, cooper cooperation between co Corporations, God, that's hard to say, for me anyway. Um, and you know, and then and then there's Republicans all thinking alike and all acting together, and and you know, buddy buddy and the good old boy network. And you know, that's the only way you see cooperation in this country is cooperate and cooperation to exploit each other, and that's awful. Um, you know, put yourself in in the shoes of someone that's suffering. You know, they're they're completely abandoned. They're, they're left to do nothing. And what do you expect them to do? I mean, as a society, what think as a society. Try to think as a society what the problem is with letting people try to do things on their own that are incapable of doing things on their own. You know, it's it's awful. It's, it's, I just, I'm ashamed to be an American because of that. You know, we're, it's just, it's not right. I mean, how many old people are out there just, just left to their own devices because, oh, well, they don't quite qualify for in-home health services, or, or, well, there's just nobody to help them out. You know, how many people are dying on the street because, oh, well, you know, they've got the wrong attitude, or, or this or that, or, well, they just won't work for a living. Well, maybe they can't, and maybe they don't have to. You know, that's, that's, what's, that's what's so wrong about this, is that you know, everybody in this country is expected, they, they believe, you, you individually believe, you're expected to work 45 hours a week in order to keep society going. And that's wrong. That's not right. The, the, the amount of work that needs to be done to maintain a society with the technology and resources we have is five hours a week. Five. Any more than, you're, any more than five hours a week is work that you're doing to make the rich richer. Period. That's all there is to it. You know, you have to think in terms of society. You have to think in terms of everything in this country belongs to everybody. You know, capitalism says, no, that's not the case. We're going to give all the property and the capital and the opportunity to, to exploit people. We're going to give that to the richest people because they're, well, they're rich because they're good at exploiting people. So, obviously, they know what they're doing and they're the ones that should run the country. And we bitch because the rich are, are so rich and treating us like crap. Well, hello, the problem is is that we gave them permission. We continue to give them permission by accepting capitalism as our economic theory. And, and that's wrong, you know. And, you know, like I said before, capitalism is not a free market economy. They're not the same. Our economy is a free market. The theory that runs the free market economy is capitalism. Once you have capitalism run an economy, it's no longer a free market. It becomes a private market, a closed market. In a free market, the demand side controls. In a closed market, the supply side controls. You feel like you're being oppressed, you feel like you're a slave, because you are! And it's because of the system we have in place. No one's controlling it, no one's running it, no one's forcing us to have capitalism. We've accepted it. Every one of us, you, me, everyone, we've accepted it. And as a result, we're all suffering. Every one of us. There's only temporary benefit to the rich, and they're not going to stay happy. That's not going to happen. You know, it's, it's like I said, it's king of the hill. They're just going to be knocked down. But, uh, you know, we need, to, we need to start looking at things from a societal perspective to see, you know, is it really a good idea that we leave people to their own devices that are incapable of taking care of themselves, you know? How does, that, how does it make them feel? It's, it's a burden on the healthcare system. 
You guys, you know, people bitch about how these poor people are costing you so much money because of all these health care issues they have. Well, they're sick and, and dying and unhealthy because we treat them the way we treat them. Oh, well, they can't work for a living, then fuck them, you know. That's, yeah, that's pathetic. It's just really a shame. I'm just really ashamed to be in America. I'm really ashamed of this country. I'm really ashamed of of what we let ourselves become. I mean, letting old people, letting young veterans, people that go out and fight for our freedom, which we don't have, we let them die on the streets. And we don't recognize that it's our individual fault. We can't blame anyone. No one is to blame. It's the system. You can't blame the people that put it in place because they're long dead. So there's no one to blame. Accept that. Understand that. No one to blame. Nobody. However, you, you watching this, have responsibility. Your responsibility, first of all, in a democracy, is to participate. And that you don't is why we've gotten there. Second of all, your responsibility is to make sure that things are going right for the society, to participate. If you don't take those responsibilities, no one else is going to, or the person that will, will take them to their advantage. But more importantly, no one else is going to take these responsibilities, and things are just going to keep getting worse. It's, it's complete anarchy. And, uh, and that's just wrong. I just, I'm, I'm ashamed. I'm really ashamed. You know, at least Nazi Germany had the common decency to put people down humanely. Um, you know, I will, I will say that much, you know, be pissed at me, be judgmental towards me, whatever you want to do, but the fact of the matter is that they killed people humanely. It was wrong for them to kill people. Absolutely, positively, I do not condone a damn thing the Nazis did. <coughs> All I'm saying is that we need to look at ourselves and ask ourselves, are we any better? And if anybody can answer the question yes, I think that they haven't looked far enough. But look into that. Look at yourself and think about it. Are we any better than the Nazis? Are we worse, maybe? You know, because we just let people suffer and die. This is not a society.